Howdy folks. Hey, at Calfian Tools, I've got something I guess I wanted to show this week. And it was, we were going to do new tools on Thursdays. And you know what? We're still going to do new tools. But we have Thanksgiving coming up. So Thursday's kind of uh, hereby canceled. <laughs> so we'll have to do it Wednesday or Friday. I don't know which. But this is Monday. Got a friend of mine named Ed. And Ed is an inventor. And he came up with a double... Uh, protractor for a miter saw. It's not an expensive tool, but it would make a great gift for the woodworker. It would make a good Christmas gift for the woodworker or a nice birthday gift for the woodworker. If he has a chop saw, which most likely he has a compound saw, this is an accessory that he could use and it doesn't cost a lot. So it's a, it's a nice product it's right out of the box, as they say. What's the product? Well, it's right here in my hands. This is the product right here. And it's the uh, SawSet Pro. And it's, a, it's what they call a double miter. Uh, in other words, you can gauge and measure your angle cuts on this gauge. And it's really handy. There's one other thing you will need. And unfortunately, I can't find my pretty one. But I, did, I do have my old plastic uh, standby here with me today. So you will need one of these to uh, measure this. I'll tell you what. If I can find a nice one, I'll even put a link in this. In, down below where you could find a decent one of these because <laughs> this one's pretty this one's been with me forever and it's you know it does the trick so it's like okay because basically uh, after you measure your angle and lock this up which that probably doesn't even I don't even know yeah it still works it's not a good like I say it's not a good one plastic but I uh, dug through my toolbox and I was oh man I remember seeing that and ideally, you put your, you can put it on like this, or well, in the picture here, they show it actually like this. And by sliding back and forth, you can get your angle and get your reading and decide whether it's 30 degrees or 22 and a half degrees. A lot of cuts, and I had talked about it in a show previous, uh, where I was making these uh, pirate treasure chests. The top. I don't even remember whether it was 11 and a half or 12. I'm pretty sure it was 12 and a half degrees. And that angle was hard to determine until I got a hold of something like this and something like this, where I could actually check it and say, okay, I've got to set my saw up and cut a bunch of these strips of wood at 12 and a half degree intervals in order to create that nice half round top that, you know, we go with these uh, well, the pirate treasure box like that one up there. Anyway, that's one of the many uses. Uh, on the back of this uh, packaging, they've got uh, a couple of different examples of the uh, miter saw. So I'll just stick that and see if focus, yeah, focus, see what we got going on there. And uh, so there's a lot of different applications. It's really a very inexpensive tool, but around a miter, it's handy. And I don't care whether you have a really expensive miter or a cheap one, this is still going to help make your day, especially if you have to do anything with angles. And when you have a compound miter saw, it's all about the angles. So let's take a quick look at a couple of applications. Before we start this example of using one of these, uh, Ed specifically went ahead and made sure the numbers on these gauges are large. So they're easy to read. So there's no math required when you're doing a split like this. Well, I don't know if you can see that you know, uh, this sort of thing. And I want to thank Ed for setting this in because this is a really nice, cool tool, very inexpensive, but it, it adds a nice feature to the uh, miter saw. Now, let's take a look at the demo. Here's an example. It's kind of a basic situation, but uh, I'm running, so I was running flooring the last few weeks and I came up on these weird little, uh, see if I can show them to you real good, but uh, they're, they're a blunt end cut and then painted, which this one is not, obviously. Uh, we had to cut the stuff off and make some new stuff, and I couldn't figure out this angle. And I, at, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, that must be a you know a 30 degree angle or something that they've, they've cut into this thing. So I got my, my little baby out here and you know started messing with this to try to see, okay, what's this, what is this angle? And, you know, there it is there, and put it on the uh, Ed's device, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> Got it lined up and got a measurement off of it and then brought it over to Ed's machine here and took a look and said, okay, you know what? That's 20, that's 22 and a half, yeah, 22 and a half, 22.5 degrees. Now, that was, 
you know, quick, but like I said, this is something that'll save you a lot of time if you're trying to guess on, a, on an angle and you measure it with one of these, put it up on your gauge, get the reading, and then you can go to your miter saw and say, I know exactly what the degree of the cut is that I need. But you can also cut something on your saw and check it against this gauge and just see if it's accurate, if it's wrong, if it's not cutting you, if it's not giving you a good 45. Because compound saws are funny that way. Uh, when they're brand new out of the box even, sometimes they're a little off. And if it's only a half a degree or something, I don't know if I'd sweat it too much, but sometimes they're off by one or two degrees and it'll show up in your work if you're you know, into that kind of thing. So this was just an example of something that happened recently in the house here where I had to measure it, put it on the gauge and went, oh, this thing is actually 22 and a half degrees. I guess 30, just eyeballing it without knowing for sure. So this was able to answer the, uh, the mystery question. So I could duplicate these cuts and then reinstall the quarter round around my flooring and stuff where I was finishing up on the house. So there you go. There was, a, there was an example of a situation where, you know, I got into a problem and this was able to resolve it really quickly for me and get a proper reading. It's a nice gauge. They're, I think they're less than $20 on Amazon right now. I'll give you a link so you can find Ed's invention at Amazon and order one if you'd like. And like I said, as a gift, uh, even if you're a metal worker, you might want to have one of these around because uh, you can, again, with, your, with metal, you can take a reading, check the gauge, figure out what it is that you're looking at for angle, and then go and you know do the cut on a chop saw, like for metal, or in this case, like I said, a lot of it is woodworking, but metalworking, uh, you, you run into the same thing. And it's a nice light item. You can put it on a nail somewhere, hang it in the old, hang it back there in the old shop. Huh? And uh, whenever we uh, have a questionable angle or want to check any work, or we need a double miter for a split where we're splitting like two, you know, 245s and we're splitting it down and going, oh, what do I need here for like a roofing ca a cap, anything like that? This is going to get you out of trouble. So, hey, wow, that was it. Uh, please buy Ed's tool. <laughs> and once again, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and, well, you know, our usual rigmarole. <laughs> hey. We'll be back a couple days with a new, brand new tool again. I think this one has uh, an extra feature on it that I've never seen before, so it should be pretty interesting. And it's a big power tool, so, oh yeah, cool, you know, Ugh, man stuff. All right, hey guys, over and out. <laughs>